What's going on everybody? It's King Tuds Pro and welcome back to another Final Cut Pro 10 Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial. Guys, this is the new setup. Let me know if you guys like it. Uh, if you like it, just leave a like. If you don't, comment down below. But anyways, let's jump right into the video. Now, this is a really cool effect that you guys can do. Anyways, so what you guys saw in the beginning of the video is exactly what you guys are gonna do in Final Cut Pro 10. You guys don't even need any plugins. You don't need Photoshop, you don't need After Effects, you don't need Premiere, but you can do this in Premiere, but I'm gonna do it in Final Cut for all of you Final Cut Pro 10 users. So first thing you wanna do is of course, have your music video filmed and everything and ready to go. Last thing you wanna do is add your effects. So what I wanna do is I wanna use this video from World Star Hip Hop. It's called uh, FBG Duck. Um, and I think it's called Mama's House. So I'm gonna be using this as an example just to show you guys the effects on a music video. Of course, I don't have any music videos. I didn't film any music videos, so I can't show you how to do it. So I'm gonna use this one for the sake of this tutorial. So I'm gonna drag this into the timeline. And what you want to do from here is you want to find obviously a spot that you guys want. So I'm going to Move the time head here. Let me see if I can do this properly. So I'm gonna move, uh, I'm gonna select this part here. So overall, th this music video is really great, guys. If you guys wanna watch it, link is gonna be in the description. But anyways, this is a really good music video. I love the, just the music itself. It's just awesome. Anyway, so what you guys wanna do from this point is make your cuts. Of course, I'm just gonna do this for the sake of this video. So I'm gonna do something like that. Okay, I'm gonna call this good. So I'm gonna delete the rest and I'm gonna fit the frame with this, okay? So I'm gonna mute the audio for copyright sake. Now I'm gonna push play and this is what you got. You have some slow-mo and just uh, a different clip, a different scene. What I wanna do is I wanna make it look a lot better, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go um, into the where I want it to start. So using your left and right arrow keys on your keyboard, you wanna choose two different scenes. So the first one is gonna be the first part where the effect is gonna take place. The second clip or the second scene is where it's gonna appear. So I want this one, so right before it goes on to, this, to the second scene, I want that to be, or whatever is in this scene, I guess, in, in this case it's him, I want that to be a couple of frames on the other clip. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into edit, I'm gonna go to add freeze frame, and what this will do is it will take a screen grab or a screenshot of that where our, t our time head was at. So this point right here. So if you, if you can see, if I push play, it just it's like a seamless cut, but it's really a, um, an image. So I'm just gonna move this up. I'm gonna zoom in around here and I'm going to uh, move the time head between this point here and the other scene. 10 frames to the left. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10, about 10 frames. Then you want to move that clip above like that. Okay, then use the blade tool and trim it to where the scene ends and delete it. So now if I push play, it will look like this, okay? From this point, what you wanna do is you wanna select that, uh, that clip. You wanna go into the inspector window and you want to go into effects, go to masks and go to draw mask and drag the draw mask directly onto that clip. From this point, you want to make a selection of the person, the object, whatever it is in that scene. So in this case, since the next clip, the next scene reveals this person, I'm obviously gonna choose him. So, but honestly, it really doesn't matter, um, but I'm just gonna do this one. So I'm just gonna select him and his cup here. I'm gonna do a really rough selection here, but if you guys want this effect to look a lot better, I suggest you guys uh, take your time with the masking because if you guys do a really nice uh, cut here and it comes down through his back through his belt and around here and you finish off with the circle so you click that and then it masks him out and everything else is gone temporarily of course what you want to do is you want to go to the feather and if you drag the feather to the left it's gonna create a feather in so it's gonna create the feather inwards but if you drag the feather outward it's gonna create a feather outward so it just smooths out the edges so it's not so hard of a line so I'm gonna drag this I don't know I'm gonna drag this inwards just a little bit okay from this point what you want to do is you want to make three copies of this to create that outline so I'm gonna press command C and I'm gonna paste this three times okay and once you have three copies of that clip what you want to do is you want to select the middle clip go to the uh, right here in the color correction tab 
Go to exposure and just bring this all the way up or down, whatever. Go to saturation and bring this all the way up as well. And then go to color and choose the color of your liking. So I'm gonna do a nice like gold orange color. All right, so once you're at this point, what you want to do is you want to go back to the effects here. What this does so far is we've created an outline with the color. So this top clip here acts as our top clip. The middle clip is this, what you see here, and the bottom clip is um, just like a backup. So we're gonna do the middle clip, and we're gonna go to blur, and we're gonna drag the focus blur directly onto the middle clip. So once you drag that, you will notice already that there's a glow effect, and this looks super cool. So once you're at this point, you want to go to the amount. This will create that glow and halo effect, which looks really cool. I've seen this a lot in music videos. So I'm gonna drag the softness all the way up, the emphasis really doesn't do anything. And the width, I'm going to, I don't know, move it to the left a little bit. Now I'm gonna go back into the color board and I'm going to go to saturation. And I can adjust these values here, but normally yours is gonna be like this. If you drag it all the way up, it's gonna create more of a vibrant color as well as the exposure here. So we can do the shadows as well. You can bring them down. Um, well, that looks cool. I'm gonna bring that down a little bit. And then the highlights. I'm gonna increase the highlights, something like that, okay? So what you wanna do from this point is select all of the clips, right click, click New Compounds Clip or Option G for the shortcut, just name it something, I'm gonna name this Effect, and then now you have this effect going on. What you wanna do now is you wanna make two more copies so you have a total of three of the same clip. So Command C, Command V, and make sure you're pasting them right in front here. So once you're at this point, let me hide this and show you guys so you guys can see it better. So now we have this here. What we wanna do is we want to drag the top clip sort of to the end, not all the way to the end, but somewhere around here. Then the middle clip, you wanna drag that to around, about here, so maybe three frames inwards. From this point, you wanna move the time head in between where all the clips are visible. So now you want to leave the top clip how it is, but move the second clip um, and we're gonna change the X axis. So go to the transform, go to position and where it says X, go and click on the zero and just drag that to the right or left, whatever you guys wanna do. I don't, it doesn't really matter. So I'm gonna drag this like that. I'm gonna select the bottom clip and I'm going to move this upwards so it moves to the right all the way like this. So now, if I push play, and if you do this in order, because if you don't do this in order, if you do it the opposite way, it might look a little bit weird. So just kind of, you kind of have to think ahead of time on how you want this effect to turn out. Now you'll notice that the, there is a letterbox um, issue, and I'll fix that in the end, but I wanna show you guys what this looks like so far. I'm gonna go to better performance here. So if I push play, you guys now have this super cool glowing effect, uh, freeze frame effect. Now I'm gonna select all of them. I'm gonna group them again. I'm gonna name this final. I'm gonna go to the effects. I'm gonna go to all. And I'm gonna type in the letterbox. And I'm gonna drag the letterbox directly onto, the, onto that clip. So we can hide the, um, that glowness so it doesn't go onto the letterbox because that's part of the video. So I'm going to increase the offset, or sorry, not the offset, the border size up. So it hides that, oops, like that. Sweet, so now if we go back and we push play, we now have that which looks super, super dope, guys. This is a really cool effect that you guys can do. And uh, anyway, so like I said, you don't even need any plugins, you don't need any other applications to do this uh, outline, so, um, or this glow effect with the freeze frame. So if you guys found this video helpful in any way, be sure to leave a like, comment down below, Turn on the bell notifications so you guys don't miss out on a video, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.